Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Friday, July the 26th, and uh, hauling out the cheesy uh, Hawaiian shirt because it's going to be a hot one today. We're pushing 30, at not a record, nowhere near. The record is something like 36, 37 degrees, so yeah, we're not in record territory. This will be the uh, final party in the park in Chilliwack for downtown Chilliwack for the summer, and an ABBA tribute band will be the highlight there. A couple of other things on the go, uh, Chill, Chill TV's News of the Week. The uh, news magazine is up uh, on FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com as well as the ChillTV.ca website. Uh, and the special guest co-anchor is uh, Nina Zetches of Lunafloat. If you want to be a co-anchor, send us a CV or a uh, and your video. Uh, and something just off an iPad or an iPhone will do. Let us know what you look like and how you, how you read and uh, we'll probably give you a call. Uh, 604-392-5834 if you want more information. Teske Recovery House, uh, it will stay open. There was a concern that it would shut down August 31st. The owner, uh, Len Jones, and his wife were seriously looking at retirement. Uh, the uh, call from the community to stay open uh, persuaded them to keep the place going. They're not in financial dire straits, not like, say, the Chilliwack Atlanta Club. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the two of them were thinking about retirement. But they realize that there is a need. So Teske House will stay open. Uh, but if you want to help out Teske House, there's information up on FraserValleyNewsNetwork.com. Ambulance paramedics and dispatchers have an agreement. Ratification um, will probably happen. Obviously, uh, wages and uh, working conditions, the big flashpoints for them. The province has got another online, uh, re, um, online review. They want your input on banning, reducing, or recycling plastics, especially single-use. Uh, so that is where you can get your input on a, pu on a public opinion poll that the province has put together. Three-month update on uh, measles, vaccines, and vaccinations, uh, which is becoming mandatory for school kids. And everybody seems to be, well, for the majority, seem to be getting on board with that, realizing that uh, with all the anti-vaxxer crap that's out there, no, it is very wise to get your child vaccinated. And by the way, have you been vaccinated? And you, and you, and you, and you. So talk to your doctor. Always talk to a medical professional about something like that. Artists call, call out for street banners in Chilliwack. That is up for a few weeks now. And uh, the, uh, the city of Chilliwack has got a link with Fraser Valley News Network about all the information, uh, the do's and don'ts about getting involved with that. On top of all that, uh, another missing person. This one is Keely Rees Lowen uh, from uh, Hope. Maybe somewhere between Chilliwack, Hope, uh, anywhere in the eastern Fraser Valley. 18-year-old teenager and RCMP are trying to find her as well as family and friends. Sadly, we are about to come, on, come into the third week, uh, week number three almost, of the search for 86-year-old Grace Baranek. Uh, still no, no trace. And uh, we, no, nobody can just figure out how this woman could have disappeared. This one is a baffler. Uh, also, there will be, Brigitte Crosby uh, has always been an activist when it comes to recovery and First Nations Indigenous rights in Chilliwack. And she is organizing a uh, march from Chilliwack Secondary School at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon to Five Corners about missing in, in missing women, uh, missing Indigenous women, as the, also those the, uh, those who have uh, died for, in, in the hands of homicide and from overdose. Uh, and this will be a major protest. It starts at 5 tomorrow afternoon. There is a Facebook page that is up and running. If there's something we should know about, let us know. And FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw.ca. Have yourself a great Friday. A warm one. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News and Chill TV.